So you may recall a part like this in a video that we've made where we make one of these from scratch. I'll link this in the video if you'd like to make that with us, but I'd like to revisit this for now because I've received a question about how to model logos in a Libre and put them on your part, whether you wrap or extrude. And uh, in order to go through that, I'll edit this cool non-planar sweep award sketch text and replace it with a logo. So to start off, I'll probably want to show my plane. So I'll go to view, toggle references, maybe even sketches. And then I want to add a plane. Let's add a plane off of our YZ plane. So we'll go to model, add a plane, and then I'll offset this. Three inches looks pretty good, maybe 2.5. So I'll close that. And I'm going to suppress my wrap. And then I'll start uh, working off of my plane. So I've got my plane highlighted. I'm going to select tracing image. You can see it asks for a target plane and we've selected the plane that we've just created. And then we, it gives us the option to select an image. So I'll browse for a good logo file here. JPEG and PNG are very common formats to import. PNG has a great advantage because it also supports transparency. I'll upload a JPEG so you can see what it looks like when we don't have transparency and what to do about that. So we'll open that up. And you can see we've imported a very large image. I've selected a very large image on purpose because we probably want to resize this. Uh, so first I'll go with calibrate size and I'll click on the bottom most part and I'll make it even with the top most part. And then I'm going to say, oh, I want that to be about two inches. And I'll hit the enter key. And there we have a resized image, but I want to move this. And so I have my X and Y offsets. I'll move it up the X offset by increasing that value. And then I think I want to turn it. So we have an angle of 90 degrees. Oh, I'll go with 270 instead. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll scale that a bit higher, right? So I've resized it, but maybe I want to scale it higher. Well, I can always do a higher X scale, which allows me to stretch my image, or I can apply the same scale in my Y direction if I want to uniformly scale it larger. I think I like that. So we've covered being able to scale the image, uh, change the angle, and then offset or change the location of the image. I also can mirror this across a vertical axis or a horizontal axis. So we'll say OK to that. And the question is, I've got an image of my logo. How do I get it to show up on my part? The other thing that we might have is I this this image is blocking my view of my part a little bit. And depending on your image, that could be a little deal or a big deal. So if we want to change our image in any way, including making it so we're able to see the part, then I'll go to my tracing image and edit that. And I can change my opacity here. Maybe I want it to be 25% the opacity that it has. Well, now I can see right through this image, but I can still see the parts that are important. So I'll say OK on that. And now I'll sketch on my plane, which happens to be the same plane as the tracing image. And then I'll grab a spline. And I'm going to simply trace this image out on a spline. And I don't think you need to see me click a whole bunch of points. And I think it's pretty easy to follow along with uh, clicking points on a spline. So I'll go ahead and fast forward this part so that you don't have to sit through it. So I've been able to uh, trace this logo out. Now the question that I received was on extruding the logo. So you can try things like wrap or whatnot. Now wrap could be complicated depending on the way that you set up your sketch. And uh, so I'm gonna extrude this just to answer that question. I'm not sure how this will wrap, but let's go to geometry and select this face. And we have this cool extrusion. Now you don't always have to wrap to get what you want, right? I've got a 
kind of an algebraic spherical face here. And so we can always choose our XY plane as well. And I'll create an arc. I'll give this arc a radius of 2.25. We'll make sure that we are vertical. So our arc center will be vertical to the origin here. And I'll give my arc center a vertical distance from the origin at eight. And then I'll increase this radius to maybe 2.5. That's a bit much. 0.35 might be all right. From here, I'll say that my arc end relative to my arc center would be, oh, one is fine. And I can go one this way too. Come out here, one, right? That's great. And vertical. So we're fully constrained, we'll deactivate, and I can just do a circular revolve that subtracts material on this axis. So we can get a, a wrap-like result without having to worry about it. One of the reasons why I enjoy it so much. I can hide my tracing image and uh, there we go. I can even recolor my faces to the Libre colors. So we were able to apply the colors and get a logo on there. Hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.